Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the tournament final. Hit semi-final was over in the first 90 seconds by way of the maximum knockdown rule. Please welcome back, Mosab Amrani. Jaguar Mosop Amrani favored to win the tournament and I don't think anything has changed since that first semi-final. No. Uh, the only thing is many people expected Shane Oblonsky to be facing him in the finals. That didn't happen because Yerk really stepped up. Amrani just ran to the ring. He's, <laughs> he's ready. He's in. <laughs> ready to roll. A well-timed knee was the beginning of the end in his semifinal technical knockout victory. Michael Yer. From Brazil, the 24-year-old Michael Yer really came into this featherweight contender tournament as the underdog, but has proved some critics wrong. Yeah, really the dark horse coming in here. Yerk did his trainers, Julio Borges and Nick Hammers, proud. And he backed up what they said because in the fighter meetings, they said, this guy's versatile. He can do everything and do it well. And he proved that to us in getting into the finals. Yeah, and to think he's only been kickboxing for seven years. He got into it when he was 17 because he needed to get in shape. He was 40 pounds overweight. He's now cut that weight and look at where he's at. I find that almost impossible to believe just looking at the guy. Yeah, where'd he put it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we are set for the featherweight contender final, and here's the breakdown. Both these young men, you see the four years that Amrani has over York. He's also the shorter fighter. But I'm betting it's not going to matter. I don't think so. This contender tournament final scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He now improves his record to 54 wins with 10 losses, four bouts scored even, 17 by knockout. At five feet, seven inches tall, 1.70 meters, he weighed in at 142 and one half pounds, 64.7 kilos. Back tonight, fighting out of Morocco, Mossab, the Jaguar. His opponent fights out of the white corner and improves his record to eight wins with three losses. Six of those wins by knockout. Standing five feet, nine and a half inches, 1.79 meters. He weighed in at fight time at an even 143 pounds, 64.9 kilos. He fights tonight out of Brazil. Introducing Michael Yers. The referee in charge is Stefano Valenti. No? Okay. Okay, guys. You know, no elbows, no toes, no sweeps, no punching with the open globe. Right? Keep up your head. Touch if you want. Mouth. Corner. Mouth. Corner. Underway, the featherweight contender tournament final. Mosop Amrani in the white. And Michael Yerk in the 
Orange. Yeah, Yurt came out with a couple push kicks, and Omrani just slammed him right up against the rope, started throwing body punches. Both of these two came out firing in the semifinals. We expect the same type of fireworks here. Ron Kruk and Steven Quadros, along with Frank Shamrock. That was a nice low kick by York. Yeah, and Ronnie's taking his time, marching him down. Oh, very efficient from oh. Ronnie. And York tumbles down. York looks so good in that early match, but I think that Amrani's a whole different level. Amrani with a huge left hook. That's the second left hook he snuck in there. And Amrani throws York to the canvas and gets a warning for it. Well, under two to go. Yeah, but York was running in, trying to not, not tackle him, but trying to clinch him. So Amrani just stepped back. Amrani right down. The middle and continues to tee off. Amrani just having his way. Everything he throws, he lands so far. Yeah, and he's moved himself to the southpaw stance. He's going to that left knee that he stopped limb with. Those lefts getting through. No offense here yet from York. And he is down. This is the beginning of the end. It may be the end. Seven, eight, nine, oh! Didn't get up in time. Mosab Amrani wow. is your I, featherweight I, contender I, champion. I think that was kind of premature. What do you think, Frank? Yeah, I mean, he waited till the last second. You don't. You gotta. You wait till eight, never more. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you, that could have went either way. You got, you got to take responsibility because you got to get up on eight. You know, and yeah, you don't, you don't mess past eight. You know what I mean? You got to, you got to get up and show you're ready. And he, he didn't, wasn't doing that. But the bottom line is, Michael York, as good as he was in that first fight, got big brothered by Mosaba and Ronnie there in the finals. Yeah, he was getting picked apart. Now, Ronnie in the southpaw stance is so strong with that knee and that little hooking left that he does. Caught him at least twice, maybe three times with that hook. But when you really want to stay in and fight, you get up. You know what I mean? You're up at eight and you're dancing. This just goes to show you how very good Gabriel Varga is. Well, let's look at the damage done by Omrani. Yeah, as soon as the fight started, he started sliding inside. Boom, that left hook landed flush on the chin. Here's the same combo. Look at that right on the chin. I mean, that was solid and perfect. York just knocked back. And here's the ending combo. Perfect right across the bread basket. Just a beautifully well-placed kick. York had his hands up, trying to avoid the head shots. Completely legal, perfectly oh. timed. That was textbook. It wasn't the shin. It didn't have to be because nope. the foot wrapped around, hitting the liver and the, the ribs. Incredible performance from Mosab Amrani. Glory 26 will continue after this. Amrani just flawless tonight. And to think he fought in November, suffered a bad gash over his head, and there was some questions as to whether he was going to be able to sustain this tournament, fighting two fights in one night. He barely broke a sweat. And I'm thinking he answered all the questions, and now Sir Hay Adamchuk awaits. And I'm sure that Gabriel Varga was watching this because he had a victory over Amrani. So we've got a lot of activity headed for that man. Michael Yurk just wasn't able to get up, and I'm not taking anything away from Amrani because that was an incredible performance, but you wonder if the 24-year-old from Brazil 
was a little banged up, maybe from that first fight. Yeah, he might have took some shots. And you know, the switching of the stance that Amrani did, he came out in southpaw. And I don't think York was really ready for that. I don't think he anticipated the power coming from the opposite side. You know, when you line up in southpaw stance, everything is backwards. So if you're not ready for that, you take a few shots, which he first exchange, he took a left to the chin and a, and a glancing right to the top of his head. It just seemed like it completely took him out of this game. Glory 26 back from the Rye Center in Amsterdam as we take a look at the dominating performance and the numbers from Mosab Amrani. Yeah, and look at the killer knees. Three out of three landing 100%. He's been tremendous with his knees tonight, but in total just landing a, just a ton more strikes, much more effective and much more damage. York just never really getting his rhythm. It just never got off. Left hook right there, just crushing. Amrani up on the inside, tries that jumping knee, which would have been a violent, violent shot. But one good left kick across the breadbasket ends this night for Michael York. Amrani won the first fight with a knee to the body, the second with a left kick to the body. Let's make it official and give Amrani the hardware. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Stefano Valenti steps in to wave this contest off with an official time of 1 minute 51 seconds of that very first round for your winner by technical knockout. And now, Glory Contender Tournament Champion, Musab Amrani! Here to present the Ramon Deckers Trophy, Glory Chief Executive Officer, John Franklin, and our head of talent operations, Mr. Cor Hammers. Mosab, I know you got your hands full, right? That was a flawless victory after you did a flawless victory in your first fight. Was this your best night as a fighter? Uh, I, I, the only thing I can say is this is just the beginning because I got a new team now and uh, I train very good. I only got uh, very uh, professional uh, teammates like Moji Kamal, Hamza Susi, uh, Brahim Kala, uh, Abu Zaitar, you know? And uh, we train very hard and uh, we are ready for everything. You lost your bid for the title the first time to Gabriel Varga, but he lost to Sergei Adamchuk. You've got some busy schedule ahead of you, don't you? That's true. Last time I fought Varga, I don't feel good. You know, I feel sick. You can see it in the fight. But uh, I hope I will fight uh, soon the new world champion in my weight class, and uh, I will let them uh, see uh, who I am now. Okay, what is a fight with the current champion, Sergei Adamchuk, going to look like? It's gonna be a tough fight. He's a very good fighter, but uh, I'm gonna bring the fight. Congratulations on a huge victory. More, let's hear it for him. He's the Jaguar, Mosab Amrani. The kickboxing fans here in Amsterdam appreciate that effort by Mosab Amrani. Really, Frank, this was a textbook fight as we're gonna take a look at that entire dominating performance by Amrani. And he just came out, just poised, moving forward, marching very comfortably. First exchange, boom, York takes that left hook. And that's when York took a step back and went, oh my, I'm in a fight here tonight. He may have been banged up from his last fight, but he was getting banged up big time in this one. That's why you see him go for the clinch. He got stuck on the outside, and when he did, he was getting hurt big time. And the funny thing is, he opened up with a double left hook and was successful, yet he switched to southpaw. 
Because he, he was chambering that knee the whole time. Southpaw stance set him in a beautiful position to throw that straight left. He landed a beautiful straight one there on the exchanges. He was just way too strong. York, I, I feel like York got, got fearful or something because uh -huh. of, of the power or because of the position because he was making grabs, he was making clinches, he was rushing into it uh, and setting himself up. And that shot right there just buckled him. It's almost like Mossad on Riley wanted to show his versatility because he had everything in orthodox stance. The left hook was landing on command, but he wanted to finish this thing probably with that body shot. Yeah, this game plan was perfect. Yeah. Switching the stance and just staying in position for fire. And he's reaching for the body right there with those kicks. He's keeping that range by those beautiful, powerful straight punches. He's Michael stuck way on the outside. He's got no way to get in. And he hacks him down, knees that body again. So he's keeping Michael honest the whole time. York is not countering at all, not throwing a push kick, nothing. He can't get, he can't get off. He's just stuck out there. Getting smothered the whole time. No offense from Michael York, and that was the crushing blow. Yeah, that, that was just an annihilation. One shot. And listen to that count. Six. He waits. Eight. Eight, you should be up. Nine. You know what? Hands aren't up. You gotta yeah. have hands up by 10. Yeah. That's that's the end of it. Yeah. And he really didn't dispute that reference no, stop. No, no, no. He was done. You at least try a little bit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you at least give a little play back. Hard, right? <laughs>